West Virginia has hired a new head coach for their women's basketball program. It's Mark Kellogg. Yeah. He's the sixth all-time winningest active Division One women's basketball coach in the country with 445 wins and 120 losses in, in, his, in the last eight years. At Stina Boston, he compiled 195 wins, 55 losses, with seven consecutive conference, I mean, seven consecutive seasons of 23 wins or more. So, this is a good replacement to Don Pulitz, White leaving to Minnesota where she got bought out. I mean, prior to staying at Boston, he was at West Texas A&M where he compiled a 62-6 and record and finished as the Division II runner-up in 2014 and lead in appearance in 2015. They also won the regular season tournament uh, tournament and regular season and tournament championship of the Lone Star Conference in both seasons. And before that even, he was a Northeast, I mean Northwest Missouri State, where he increased the women's basketball total by nine games from the previous season, like 15 and 13 in his own lone season there, and finished in the MIAA conference after being picked 14th. So he started his coaching career at Fort Lewis, Lewis College, at, which is a Division II school in Durango, Colorado. In seven seasons, he guided them with 173 wins and 46 losses, winning four conference championships with a Sweet 16 appearance in 2009 and Division II runner-up in 2010. So, this checks out of the boxes, in my opinion. Yes, he needs to be at a higher level in terms of a power conference, but this is a great hire. I mean... He graduated from Austin College in 1998 with a bachelor's degree in communications and physical education where he earned his master's degree in sport and exercise science from West Texas A&M in 2000. So I'm, that's a little bit of a background. There, He was actually served as a grad assistant in 1998 for two years at West Texas A&M. In 2001, he moved to Montana State as an assistant women's basketball coach where he helped them to the Big Sky Championships in 2002-2003. He coordinated the offensive strategy for the 2005 before taking on his first coaching job at Fort Lewis College. So, this is really a good hire, in my opinion. You gotta be patient, West Virginia fans. You gotta be patient. I know a few weeks ago, Coos's Corner asked me, about the North Texas coach, why she resigned, and I and what was her record, and I I gave him the record, and he said, "Oh, that's not a good hire." Yeah. So it's going to be interesting what happens here for West Virginia in terms of transfer portal because you, you know there's a new head coach in town and players could leave. So and they're going to have to they might have to bring in some additions too so and what happens at Stina Foster as well we're going to have to wait and see anyways if you like this content like and subscribe and run button and see you guys later find subscribers are on the road to it let's go